Hi, my name is Glenn. I am new to the um, beach casting fishing game. I normally go out on a boat. Um, so I went down to my local tackle shop today and um, I already got a second hand rod. Um, I was looking at, obviously you need a tripod for the um, beach casting. So, and they want to need like 38 pounds for a um, aluminium type tripod. I thought, nah, I'm not paying out, look flimsy and everything. So, on the way home, I stopped at Wicks and um, I literally spent a tenner um, on this bit of kit and I made it myself. Um, I'll just show you how it is. So it's literally, um, literally four, uh, two by one. Um, I bought plain square edge wood and um, just give it a bit of character. I planed it down on the sides to give it a bit of a bevel edge so it looks a bit neater. Um, so I'll show you how it goes. Um, so you can pull that bit apart there. Pull that out there. So basically all we got is a, a bolt, two washers and a wing nut holding the, the tripod piece together. I've got a, a hinge in the back here for the back stick. So it's fully adjustable. I've made the mistake, if you look here, of putting two two screw holes in the thing but that didn't give me any adjustment because of the angle so I took one out and then it gives me fully adjustable options with the back stick um, also with the edges what you want to do is I've cut them down to like a 20 degree and also the back stick, just to give you that stability. We'll see if you're on the if you're on the rocks of that, you can bed it up, uh, make it a bit more st stable. Um, but yeah, the other factor is I've, what I've put in here is a screw eye. Um, I think it's solid as a rock as it is, but I thought that was a good idea to put your your bag on it gives you a counterbalance so you can keep your rucksack or your fishing tackle in there it's easy to do I'll get mine out now so you have all your little weights and, and stuff in there it just acts as a counterbalance Bang that on there, bang that on there, and there's your counterbalance. A lot of people have them up, up there, but I've, I think the further back you've got it, we'll um, obviously we'll stop if the fish danger. You've got got it there, and it's, it's a lot more stable than that, that, that aluminium rubbish you've got on there. So it cost me less than a tenner. And you can paint it any like some um, decking oil that was left over. Paint it any colour you like. I just think it's a, a great, great saver. So, you know, put your, your rods there. Bang, you can have it any way you want it. So, cheers, thanks for that.